You got so much greatness in you, but optical mistakes make you forsake what's in you. Bamboozled by these facades from these dork poses got you with no equity, integrity, and foreclosure. You got your respect on the clearance rack. Them suckers get you cheap and your dumb ass cheer for that. But the clout can't bring a sucker near to seeing a real nigga in the mirror. Let's go. If you want all this pimping you can't afford Perform like a punk but wanna win his reward Some suckers give you points but bitch you never scored If you ain't paying pimping then bitch you getting ignored Okay, I'm so sick of If I was to challenge y'all to take a piece of paper in a pen <laughs> First of all, the majority of y'all is gonna lose the challenge right then and there Because most of you motherfuckers don't even own a pen in a piece of paper. The majority of you motherfuckers ain't wrote nothing down on pen and paper. Shit, since Lil Wayne was saying wobble dee wobble dee wobble wobble dee 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 But for the remainder of y'all who do own or have pen and paper in your possession, if I was to challenge you to make two columns, a column for respect gained in a column for respect lost now the majority of y'all because everybody likes to think highly of themselves or you know ideally of themselves not even necessarily highly most of us like to think ideally of ourselves right so ideally the majority of y'all in the respect gain column is gonna write shit like oh uh integrity uh responsible Understanding, uh, uh, loyal, trustworthy. Y'all gonna write shit like that down in the, in the respect gain part, and then in the respect loss part, you might write shit down like, uh, dishonesty, uh, betrayal, uh, 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 irresponsible, uh, shit like that, you know what I mean? But, what you think of yourself ideally and what you are in actuality oftentimes is two totally different things. See, the majority of y'all right now in 2020, quarantine season, even before quarantine season, but even more so in quarantine season because a lot of y'all is bored, got too much time on your hands, and you even that much more immersed in the so social media than you were prior to. But anyway, the majority of y'all, the only thing it takes to gain your respect is clout. And shit, really nothing can make you lose respect. You know, uh, you're going you gonna to respect just about everything as long as a motherfucker got clout. You know, uh, a motherfucker could be a snitch. Uh, a motherfucker could be a deadbeat dad. A motherfucker could be the devil in the flesh. It don't matter who and what they are, as long as they got clout, the majority of you motherfuckers is gonna respect it and you're gonna try to align yourselves with it as much as possible. Um, you know, it just don't take nothing nowadays to gain a motherfucker's respect. And what you don't understand is, you know, uh, when you're dealing with people, there's more things that should qualify for your respect than just clout. Or when I say clout, you know, that could classify as a, as, as a number of things, you know, but just something that you think might be beneficial to you, you know, because most of these young ladies, y'all don't want to deal with a man that's broke or, you know, you only want to deal with a man that got money, you know, but it's all different types of dudes with money. It's suckers with money. You got real niggas with money, but you got suckers with money, you got busters with money, you got cowards with money, you got liars with money, and then you got motherfuckers that just look like they got money, but in actuality, they broke as a joke. They ain't got shit, you know? But as long as a motherfucker look like they got something going on, most of you young ladies is gonna fuck with them. And you don't even have an idea of how that can benefit you in any type of way you just are mystified and attracted to, mystified by and attracted to the fact that this motherfucker look like they got something going on. They look like they got the clout. They look like they got the money, you know? But 
you don't play chess with your moves at all. You don't play chess with life. You don't think to yourself, okay, what if I actually was fucking with this motherfucker? Okay, he got money, he got clout, or at least it looks like it, but what if I was actually dealing with this individual? What type of man is this? How is this gonna benefit me? How is this gonna help me, you know, build equity within myself as a woman and build value, you know? Or is this the type of motherfucker that's banked up, making full, you know, daily deposits in toxicity bank and trust, you know, banked up in this toxicity bank account? Is this that type of individual or is this somebody, you know, that's, that's, that's banked up with respect and integrity and dignity so, and so forth, you know? Because what you got to keep in mind is that you got real niggas and you got suckers. Everybody think they're a real nigga. Everybody claim they're a real nigga. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that you can make a real nigga a boss, but you can't make a boss a real nigga. And it's a lot of motherfuckers that appear to be bosses. All different kinds. You got some real niggas that's bosses, but you have a lot of sucker ass niggas that's bosses. You can't make that sucker a real nigga no matter how much money he got, how much clout he got. You can't make that motherfucker trust you. You can't make that motherfucker uh, worthy of your trust. You can't make them have your back. You can't make them hold you down in no kind of way. You know? They might have all the money and clout and material things in the world. It might look real good. But just because they have that going on, and they might give you their time doesn't mean that it's going to benefit you. You got to look beyond that shit. You got to look beyond all the smoke and mirrors and bells and whistles and all that shit and see what type of motherfucker you're dealing with underneath the appearance of things. You dig? Bottom line, you can make a real nigga a boss, but you can't make a, bo a boss a real nigga. Especially if that boss is a sucker. They gonna be a sucker, you know, whether they a boss or a broke nigga, it don't matter. A sucker is a sucker, and a real nigga is a real nigga. So you gotta decide which one you gonna fuck with. Now, every real nigga ain't cut out to be a boss, you know, but it's still some more value in dealing with a real nigga that's not a boss than a sucker ass nigga that is a boss. Let that marinate on your mind one time. Freeze is it. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And as always, put some of this love shit in your motherfucking body like so. And also, man, COVID is fucking motherfuckers up. She a dirty bitch. And she bars none, spares none. She don't care what ethnicity you are. She don't care how old you are. She don't care if you a man or a woman, fat, short, tall, skinny, whatever. COVID is a dirty bitch and she ain't on nobody's side. So with that being said, mask up, man. Freeze is it. I hop. Now come and take a sip of this game. Pour it down your ear and let it drip to your brain so you can run it up, run it up. Expensive, holy and bitch. we'll be coming up, coming up. Really, really coming yeah. up. Take a sip of this game, let it saturate your brain. Uh -huh. Taylor, make your home so we can match it with my name. Then attach it to your frame, right? Yeah. Now you game tight. Ready, set, ho. You gon' check her back the same night. Sure. Now, now you breaking tricks and handling thousands. While these bitches on the blade doing the mannequin <laughs> challenge. Standing there looking stupid cause they has no game To hit a trick with bitch and that's so lame Now come and take a sip of